Now, we 31 Storm Tracker meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. I'll admit, I've forgotten a payment or two, and they've charged me like 35 bucks. Forgot one payment uh -huh. in my whole entire life, and it right. was last week, and I cried. Oh my goodness. I called my mom, I was like, what am I gonna do? <laughs> she was like, you're gonna call them, and you're gonna pay it, so it stops accruing late fees. Exactly. <laughs> Let's take care of that first, all right? <laughs> Alrighty, well, no need to cry over today's weather, but we are still in a caution day on the threat tracker. Now, it's kind of a double whammy here. We still have a little bit of rain coming in the forecast. It's going to be spurts on again and off again as we head through the rest of the afternoon. And we do still have a level one out of five risk for severe weather, but my guess is it's just a matter of minutes before that gets expired. Tomorrow, it's yet another level one out of five risk, but this one in effect for a much longer portion of the day and affecting many, many more of us. Again, this green level one still in effect, but I would imagine by the time our newscast ends, that will probably be out of our way. 1120 this morning and on your 31 triple Doppler, Monday's no longer looking half bad. A few pockets of rain in our southern counties and again in our far northern, but the vast majority of us are dry. More still cloudy, but we're dry. Now we're seeing a bright sky out there. The sun is trying to come through, but we're not seeing direct rolls of sunlight, nor will we for much of the rest of the day. You might see a couple pockets here and there, but for the most part, it's the cloud cover that's going to stick around. The Way 31 Skycam Network, powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction, showing us those temperatures in the mid 60s, only a degree or two different from where we were this morning. So as you're headed out the door to lunch, if you're headed to an early lunch, if you were cold this morning, you're going to be cold now. So bring that jacket with you because that dampness is still in the air. One or two spot showers will remain as we head through the rest of the day, but they no longer pose a threat for severe weather. Some isolated rain could be there for a few minutes. It will leave some more come back later and then it's gone. All in all, I'd say you probably don't even need your rain jacket for the rest of the day. If you do choose to bring it, you certainly won't need it after lunch. Now on to tomorrow. That's a little bit bigger day. Now it's still a level one out of five risk for severe weather, but this one is for all of our counties in the Tennessee Valley, and it's with us for a much larger portion of the day. We'll see rain and storms starting from very first thing in the morning, and this is a brand new radar update just about 20 minutes ago. If you watched this morning, you know this looks very different. Rather than exclusively seeing rain and storms in the shoals, now at 830 in the morning when you're just getting to work tomorrow, we're seeing rain and storms all across the board. Those will kind of push out of the way by lunchtime before another round comes into the region and those continue to stay with us through dinner time. So continuing to see that level one out of five risk in effect, it was just a dinner time threat. Now it's looking more like it could be an on and off all day threat in the Tennessee Valley. You don't need to be scared. This is not a repeat of what happened last week, but this is still possible severe weather and strong thunderstorms. Your greatest threats are small hail, gusty wind and torrential downpours. So make sure you're staying weather aware with us and make sure you check back in tonight with Chief Meteorologist Jeff Castle because he'll have yet another updated radar outlook version just to make sure you're always staying one step ahead of that storm. Now you don't need to water your garden today and tomorrow. You could on Wednesday, but you won't need to for the entire rest of the week. We're going to have a lot of rain chances, not a full on washout week, but rain on and off throughout the week. The good news is all that rain's really lowered our pollen count and fingers crossed that it continues to do so as we get closer and closer to the end of the season. We're dry for much of Wednesday and again on Thursday, but then we do have those rain chances come back into the forecast before long. Friday looks to be something of a washout before Saturday we dry out just a little bit and then Sunday brings the return of rain back to the Tennessee Valley. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thanks. And after